Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. The following problem was given to nine-year-old students in America. The calculation for AB multiplied by BA has the first row equal to 384, the second row equal to 2,560. The sum of these is equal to the product, and that is 2,944. A and B are two different digits. Find the value of A and B. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Here is one way to solve the problem. Focus on the calculation of AB multiplied by A. This will correspond to the first row that's equal to 384. What can we deduce from this? We can see that 10A multiplied by A plus the carryover of B multiplied by A is equal to 380. That means 10a multiplied by a is approximately equal to 380. In other words, a multiplied by a is approximately equal to 38. So we can consider perfect squares. 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 25. That's too small. 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36. And 7 multiplied by 7 is equal to 49. That's too large. The only possibility that works is 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36. So we can conclude that A is equal to 6. We substitute that in, and then we consider we have a carryover that's equal to 2, because 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36, and the result is 38. So we know that B multiplied by 6 is equal to 4 with the carryover of 2. In other words, b multiplied by 6 is equal to 24. That means b is equal to 4. And we've solved the problem. We have a is equal to 6 and b is equal to 4. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.